Ogun Chip is this absolutely fascinating technology which gives us deeper insights into human biology and diseases. It's like these miniaturized versions of tissues and organs that scientists can create on a single chip platform. By taking live cells and putting them into these micro-engineered systems that can mimic the physical and chemical aspects of living tissues, essentially uh, you can have cells behaving a lot more like they do in the body. At Queen Mary's Centre of Predictive in Vitro Models, we are conducting world-leading research into the development and the use of organ-on-chip technology, organoids and other forms of predictive in vitro models. Having high quality models really underpins our ability to carry out life science research, whether it's developing new drugs or therapies, whether it's understanding more about disease processes. It's a promise uh, to provide better in vitro models to um, have more efficient drug testing, drug development, and also the ethical aspects of avoiding animal testing. Our research covers a huge range of different diseases, different tissues, different organs, and also the underpinning bioengineering, which means that we're able to develop the techniques that are being used to produce these complex in vitro models. We're really grateful to the NC3Rs for their support with an infrastructure grant. That's allowed us to bring together probably one of the largest, most comprehensive organ chip facilities in the UK. We have five different commercial um, organ chip platforms within the centre, so we can use those to build a wide range of different models. But we also have 3D bioprinting microfluidic expertise that allows researchers to build their own bespoke models. Our new EPSRC, Centre for Doctoral Training in Organ Chip Technologies, called COACT, that's really at the heart of our CPM community. The key aim of our Centre for Doctoral Training is to build the next generation of world-class leaders in organ and chip technology, and at the same time, enhance the involvement of these researchers with industrial partners, charities, and government agencies to help roll out new drugs towards the clinic for patients. The CPM brings together a really large number of different stakeholders from across industry, government, third sector, large pharmaceutical, small pharmaceutical companies, um, with all the different technology providers, um, with the regulators, with the policy makers, and special interest groups as well. Our research now will go on to have impact in the future as these models are adopted and used across the, the community they will then be being used to develop the next generation of therapeutics, new medicines, accelerating that whole medicines revolution.